Turkish coffee is a very popular beverage in Turkey, which is prepared in a small coffee pot named Cesve in Turkish, and served with a glass of water to clean your palate and Turkish delights named Lokum in Turkish. Its special preparation, brewing techniques, and rich communal culture made it worthy of being inscribed into the UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage List in 2030, making it one of the most important cultural heritage of Turkey. If you want to know our favorite places to have some of the most delicious Turkish coffees in Istanbul, then stay and watch this video with us. But before we start with our video, we invite you to check our two digital booklets, The Best of Istanbul and Cappadocia and The Best of Turkey, where you'll find useful information on where to stay, where to eat, how to move from city to city, and other suggestions that we do not share on our social media. You may find the links in the description box and pinned comment. Located on a narrow side street in Bayolu, Mandabat Mas maintains its long-standing reputation as a popular spot in Istanbul to enjoy a cup of authentic Turkish coffee. Its name translates to the buffalo with no sink, referring to the extra foam on top of its coffee, which is considered to be an indicator of its good taste. Inside, the open kitchen allows an exquisite fragrance to fill the small shop at all times, and the cafe signature brewing technique, which consists of adding hot water to the pan instead of cold, has been practiced since 1967. Also another important thing is that if you see on top of your Turkish coffee that special foam, that means that the Turkish coffee has been well done. Also keep in mind that the Turkish coffee should be drunk in very small sips, so that the ground can settle at the bottom of the finjan or cup in English. When you order a Turkish coffee, you can always request how much sugar do you want in it. So for example, it will be very good for you if you can learn these easy Turkish terms so that when you go to any Turkish coffee shop, you can tell them the exact amount of sugar you would like in it. So for example, you can request that sade or shakersis, that means without sugar. The other one will be orta shaker or just orta, which means medium. And the last one will be shakerli, which means sweet. Probably you have also seen in many other places or maybe heard about it that many Turkish people, especially those who are superstitious, want their grounds to be red. And how is this? So basically when you finish your Turkish coffee, you will see all the grounds settle at the bottom of the cup. So the only thing that people do, those ones that are specialized in reading the fortune, is that they will just see the figures that are shaped there and they will tell you your future or your or your fortune. Nowadays, you cannot really find many shops in Istanbul that really do that, but what Turkish local people do is that they have an app which they can download to their mobile, and then they can just take photos in different angles of the cup, they send them, and within an hour or maybe less, they will receive their fortune. This place is located in a very historical place and this place is very famous for its Turkish coffee and also hookah, also known as water pipe. So basically, if you want to experience a unique and a great ambience, we highly recommend you coming to this place. And also, you will be having a coffee or a hookah while going back in time. This specific type of coffee was introduced to the Ottoman Empire in the middle of 16th century during the reign of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. Turkish coffee was essential in the, during the Ottoman Empire court that even the women in the harem received special training in order to make the perfect Turkish coffee.
this other place, which is called Latife, has different branches in Istanbul. And one of them is Besiktas, which we really like. And you can also find another, I think, around Galata Tower. And this place is very cozy, as you can see. It's very well adorned. And also the Turkish coffee is very good. You can also find different varieties of tea, such as green tea. And also Turkish coffee, you can find different flavors, like mastic gum, uh, chocolate, and the, the, the original Turkish coffee flavor. And this place is really good. So if you happen to be in Besiktas city center, then we recommend you to stop by in this place because you will like it. We will also love to recommend another place which is called Cafe Tuniase. This place you will be able to find it everywhere in the city and this is more, more like a commercial type place but also many locals love to come here. Here you can also find a huge variety of Turkish coffee types like for example there is one with mastic gum flavor, chocolate flavor and you can choose any that you want. Also the original flavor which is, which is good in, in my opinion. So in case that you cannot find the other places we are recommending in this video or you or you cannot go all the way there, you can also choose this place which is a, a Turkish brand of course and you can find it as I mentioned before everywhere in the city. This Turkish coffee shop will offer you a very traditional experience. There are only five branches in Istanbul and all of them are located on the Asian side, two of which are in Kadikuy. Actually, the one we are in at the moment, it is very close to the ferry port, but the original one that first opened in Istanbul in 1923 is located just a couple of meters away and you can choose any of them. They are all the same. They are owned by the same person and you can enjoy a very good Turkish coffee here. The shops are very cozy and they are also very well adorned and also this place is very famous because they ground their own coffee so their coffee is freshly prepared and even it smells so good. In this place you can also taste the different flavors of Turkish coffee, not only the original one but also they have the mastic gum flavor among others so this is the perfect place as well to try those other flavors. One cup of Turkish coffee represents conversation, friendship, hospitality, and respect. That even there is a very famous phrase among Turks that says that one cup of Turkish coffee is remembered for 40 years. Turkish coffee is very important in Turkish culture that even it is served in those special occasions and engagement ceremonies. So now you already know where you can have a great experience for Turkish coffee in Istanbul. These are some of our favorite places, but of course there are plenty more in the city that also offer good quality Turkish coffee. So you already know where you can experience this in Istanbul. If you want to receive more tips and recommendations about Istanbul and Turkey, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.